our next inductee, Carla McLeod. Congratulations, Carla. Carla was a pioneer of women's hockey, also a two-time gold medal Olympic winner. Congratulations, Carla, well-deserved. A true trailblazer in women's hockey, Carla McLeod was a legend at Wisconsin and on the international stage. After leading the Badgers to their first NCAA tournament appearance as the Conference Defensive Player of the Year in 2005, she went on to help Canada win gold in both 2006 and 2010 Olympics. Carla, congratulations on a well-deserved honor. Welcome to the Wisconsin Athletics Hall of Fame. Can you share with us what you're up to these days? Well, first of all, thanks for that, that really sweet and, and generous introduction. Um, legendary, I'm not sure. I'll have to pull that out at the family dinner and see how that one carries over. But uh, certainly a tremendous honor. And, and yeah, since sort of the last, I, I retired in 2010 and since then I've gone into coaching. So coaching is now my primary uh, role in life and in my career and, and I love it. Where are you coaching these days? Let us know. So I'm back in Calgary now near my family and uh, I'm coaching high school hockey at Edge School on the west side of town here. So it's a, a private school with a hockey program and uh, just starting my seventh year. So it's, it's home for me now. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with the Badger fans. It took a bit to get used to the maroon and gold here, um, but I've embraced it and, uh, and I'm happy to be here. As you look back on it, is there one memory that rises above all others from your time at, at UW? You know, that's, that's one of the hardest questions to answer simply because the experience on the whole um, was actually really profound for me. Like it really shaped sort of who I am now in my adult life and, and I'm so grateful for. But, you know, if I look back at some of the highlights, like my freshman year uh, after in the second half there, we were able to go to Duluth and, and sweep them. And I look back at that and I, I think of all those, those gals that, you know, were the, the juniors and seniors and what that moment meant for them. And when I look back now, to me, that was kind of a, the first time we felt like we could be successful, we knew we could win. And I think for the, for the program, that might have been a real pivotal point. So just looking back at different op, you know, opportunities like that and different experiences, you know, for all of us at the end, it, it always boils down to the people. And, and just to be able to go to the rink every day with your buddies and, and have tremendous coaches working with you and you have just everyone at UW on your side trying to help you grow. Um, that's the, those are the memories I, I take and I, I try to instill now in, in the groups I work with. Are there things that in particular that you learned or developed at Wisconsin that, that helped shape you and got you so much success when you went back and played for Team Canada? Yeah, I like, I, I was really, really fortunate in my development years. I was coached by Wally Kozak up here in Calgary. He's phenomenal, really well known. Um, and then to be able to transition into the coaching staff and, and teammates at Wisconsin, for me, my foundation to my athletic career uh, is built on, on being a Badger. And I look back at my, my time with the national team, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't make the national team until my third, third time trying out. So when you look back at those hardships of being cut, I couldn't have asked to be in a better environment with, with better people to help me out. So, you know, I get the disappointing phone call and I go to practice and I, I tell coach Johnson, say, Mark, they cut me again. And just knowing he just never wavered. He's like, you're going to get there. I, we know you can play at that level. We know you're there, but just keep going. And just that instilling that belief from him into me is what kept me going. And then you get your teammates and, you know, you're on the ice, you're practicing with Molly Angstrom and she's trying to make the American team the same time you're trying to make the Canadian team. And she was able to get on it one year before I was. And, but all that's inspiring. So when I look at my national team career, um, it's built on the foundation of, of my experience at Wisconsin. When you played at Wisconsin, making the NCAA tournament was the, was the first accomplishment. Now winning the national title every year seems like the standard around here. How have you seen women's hockey grow and the game the game develop not just at Wisconsin but in general internationally oh it's just tremendous you know and it's just it, the volume of of young women young girls playing now and the opportunities allotted to us whether it is university opportunities or, or international with the Olympics and you know we're striving to keep growing the game and get a professional side of it but you know for me I've been lucky I've been able to be tethered to the to the Badgers program uh throughout all the years here, most recently with Emily Clark being there. And I've, I've been down to watch her play. And I would get on the group text with all the old dogs. I'm like, there's more fans at warm up than we had in a weekend at the current Badger games. So to see that growth, like you just burst with pride. Um, it's just tremendous. So to, to, to understand where the, the program came from and the, and the, the graduates before me, um, and then, you know, for our class to have a role in helping this, this program become what it is, uh, you, you can't be anything other than proud of, of where they're at and what they get to experience. And it's really fun to be their fan. 
Carlo, we have a surprise guest who would like to come drop by and record a message for you. Hi, Carla. I wanted to reach out to you on your big uh, night and your big award and want to congratulate you on being honored and inducted into the UW Wisconsin Athletics Hall of Fame. It's a well-deserved honor and we couldn't be happier uh, that you're receiving it this year. Uh, you were a big asset to our program the five years you spent in Madison. And most importantly, your legacy that you left behind uh, is still impacting our program in 2020. So thank you for all you did for Wisconsin women's hockey and congratulations on behalf of the Wisconsin women's hockey program. And certainly my family uh, also wanted to congratulate you. So congratulations, put a big smile out, enjoy your evening and Sigga Saga, Sigga Saga. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Well, that's, that's, uh, I wish I had a, a better vocabulary to articulate the impact Marcus had on me uh, as a hockey player and, and as a coach and then as a human. So the fact that I can go back down there and have dinner at his house with Leslie, him and the kids, um, you know, I, I, I try to be the best Mark Johnson I can be when I, when I coach the young players I coach. So uh, a video means a lot. So thanks for putting that together. And uh, I just hope to do him proud always. That's, that's an objective of mine. Carla, congratulations. Is there anyone that you'd like to take this time to thank or, or recognize? Well, it's, it's a, it's an honor that you just, you couldn't even dream of. Um, so, so to get the phone call uh, and learn that I was going to be and put into the Hall of Fame. Obviously, you're, you're, you get the opportunity to reflect. And when I look and I, I think of UW and I think of the academic and I think of the Badger Athletics, they just gave me such like the absolute best student athlete experience. And for that, I'll be eternally grateful. Um, you know, you go you go a level deeper, the opportunity to work with Mark, Dan and Tracy and and have know the impact they've had on me, not so much as a hockey player, honest, to be honest, it's actually as a human. And then my teammates are like, those are my best friends in life. And I just think that whole, what we're able to do or what's provided to us as Badgers and, and UW students, um, geez, I could, I'll just forever be grateful. And, uh, and and that's all I can say is, is sincerely, thank you. Uh, this, this honor is beyond anything I could have dreamed of, um, but I, I'm certainly proud to be a Badger. Well, it's very well deserved. Carla, congratulations. And welcome to the UW Athletics Hall of Fame Class of 2020. Thank you very much, Patrick.